So let's start. Good evening, everybody. Um, I want to thank you for coming for this program. My name is God's Power Asia Kegu. I'm a Forex trader and I'm a life coach by the special grace of God. What we do here is we train people so that they'll be able to stand well in the financial market. I appreciate all of you that, uh, that are here. For taking your time, I say a very big thank you. Thank you for coming for this program. So, without wasting much time, let's see exactly what we have for this program. Let's see exactly what we have for this program. For this program, we'll be looking on to day one. Day one, we'll talk about introduction to forex trading. I'll now look into exchange rates. I'll talk about fundamental analysis. Then I will now dive into technical analysis. Then day two, which is tomorrow, I don't advise anybody to miss day two slots. We'll dive into pips, lots, leverage, brokers, platforms, and charting softwares, types of traders, swing, day, position, scalp. Then lastly, we'll talk about technical analysis. Day three, which is actually in two days' time, and that's Wednesday, we'll now go into MetaTrader 4, Android and desktop version. How to use MetaTrader 4. How to open trade using MetaTrader 4. We'll also look into lot size, partial closing, trade stopping, swing trading, edging. Lastly, class, we'll look into how to manage our trades. We'll be talking about my FX book, investing.com, Forex Factory, Trading View. They will go into trading strategies that work. Support and resistance, warp trading strategy, force breakout, so on and so forth, break of structure. We'll look into all of all this. So the, the, my advice for you is, if you have an idea of Forex, no knowledge is a waste. Why don't you patiently wait? Probably you might see something to add to your knowledge. Another thing I have to say is, if you have no idea, little or no idea, you are in the right place because we are starting from the scratch. We're actually starting from the scratch to, we are, I'm starting with the definition of Forex. Then we'll finish with the beginner's class. Are you okay? Also, I want to say something. The beauty about joining this program is that I am recording this class right now. On that same WhatsApp platform, I will drop the recorded version after that, I will also drop the PDF. So you have no problem with that. You can always rewatch this video on my YouTube channel. One more thing. I beg everyone, please I advise you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell. Do you know why I advise you to do these things? So that apart from this training, sometimes I could just drop some videos that I know will be helpful. Like if you check one of the videos I dropped, was it not last week or so, four days ago? The video was actually how to have a successful trading journey. Five tips on how to have a successful trading journey. Those tips will never be here. You can't get that in the beginner's class. But I always put all these videos to help all of us that seem to be in the financial market. So let's start. So for us to commence, looking at this now, I'll go straight to my day one. For day one, what are we going to be talking about? I will start, like I told you, from the beginning of Forex. Forex is simply the largest financial market where currencies are bought, sold, and exchanged for one another. Unlike stock markets, it has no centralized exchange and transactions are performed over the counter. That is, that is participant trade with what, um, with, with one another through a worldwide network of bank. Are you okay? And one thing you should know is Forex is actually traded. There's actually $5 trillion that is dropped in the financial market for you and I to trade. Are you okay? There's actually $5 trillion that is dropped in the financial market for you and I to trade. And the thing is, it is traded two for five a week. And the major 
um, currencies we are going to look at, which you can actually trade these. They are, or the sections, the time zone we actually trade this is the London section, the New York, Tokyo, Zurich, Frankfurt, Singapore, Paris, and Sydney. What exchange are we looking at? Or what trading sections are we looking at? We are looking at the Asia, the European, and the American section. Now, there's something I want to tell you tonight. The currency pairs that are mostly traded in the forest market, they are exactly what I listed. Do you see the USD is from the Americans? Euro is from actually all those German, uh, France, Spanish, so on and so forth. Asia, J J JPY, Japanese yen, Singaporean dollar, China, um, China. Are you with me? So all of all these things, they are actually traded in the Forex market. Now, what exactly do you do in the Forex market? In the Forex market, you either buy or you sell. Are you with me? In the Forex market, you either buy or you sell. Now, buying and selling the forest market is that, look at those two animals. The two animals, they are symbols of bull and bear. The bull is the buy, the green animal, and the bear is the, the one that is having white. If you look at the symbol on the bull, you will see something like an arrow that is going up. Are you with me? Why that of the bear is an arrow that is going down? Now, some people confuse themselves with colors. You can have blue or red, blue or green for bullish situations. You can have red or white for what? For bearish situations. So let's proceed. Who trade Forex? Who trade Forex? Have you sat down and asked yourself this simple question? Who are those that actually trade Forex? One, you have the central bank. The central bank are the major body of Forex. Are you with me? The central banks are the main body that trades Forex. Who else trades Forex? Commercial banks. Commercial banks are Histo Banks, Echo Bank, GT Bank, Polaris Bank, Zenith Bank, so on and so forth. AO, Union Bank and Co. They all trade Forex. Investment managers and hedge funds, but national corporations, they trade Forex. Individual investors. Who are the individual investors? The individual investors are actually you and I. You and I that they know that in the forex market, how much do you even have to put in the financial market? Are you with me? For instance, brokers will tell you, if you have $200, bring your money. We'll boost this money for you and you'll be able to trade in the financial market. Are you with me? Like as I speak to you, class, the amount, if you know how much dollar I say now, do you know that last year as I speak, dollar was also around something, um, um, uh, it was just zero and something era, a dollar. Right now, as I speak, dollar at the way it has gone up seriously. For you to deposit right now in the financial market, it is five hundred and ten dollars. Sorry, it's five hundred and ten naira. Imagine somebody depositing hundred dollars. That person is virtually depositing fifty one thousand naira. Are you with me? So I, I always tell people something. It is better for you to save in dollars, in, and it's better for you to what earn in dollars. In this country, we are. You're not saving dollars and earning dollars. I don't know how you are coping. Are you with me? So that's that. I have a flow chart for what I've done. The flow chart is a very good example of the central bank. The central bank are actually the middlemen of the financial institute. What central bank are we looking at? We are talking about um, European Central Bank, Bank of Canada, Bank of Japan, Central Bank of Nigeria. Bank of America, Bank of so many of them, all these banks, they are the main. Sometimes I used to remember when I was learning this um, forest trading, whenever I see a big shoot in the forest market, my boss would tell me that the big guns are in the market. I wouldn't even understand what he was saying until he gave me an idea of what he was trying to say. Sometimes when a big deposit is made in the central bank, it affects the market. What am I saying? Let's say, for instance, I take um, some amount of money, I take Naira. I take Naira to, to um, Japan, and I'm telling myself that I want to buy spare parts. Let's say these spare parts are virtually Toyota parts. Now, 
I get to Japan, I am depositing my money. I will convert my money from Naira to Yen. You know, in Japan, what is spent here is Yen. Once I take it to that place, I convert this money, I deposit it in their Bank of Japan. Guess what? The money affects the market. Are you with me? See, let me tell you something you don't know. Apart from all these um, ATM 150, monthly withdrawal, 100 naira, the banks do your account. I, I'm not saying banks don't make money. They make bastard money with that. Imagine if you have 5 million customers and from that 5 million customers, they are making their charges of what? They are taking um, 100 naira from 5 million. That's 500 million naira. 500 million naira, which is enough for them to make payment for, to the staffs. Are you people? What I'm trying to say is, do you know that in the headquarters, there are big bosses, there are big financial bodies that trade for us. This would that trade, there's a way you'd be so good in this business. You'd be invited to come and trade for companies. As I am, I'm not lying to you, I'm telling you what I know. Right now, as I speak, there's a certain firm that wants me to come and trade for them in Enugu. I'm very, very candid about what I'm saying, I'm not lying here. In fact, it's one of these independent hotels in Enugu we are supposed to meet and finish up. Are you with me? So you can imagine me trading for a firm. I trade for a lot of people and I get my commissions from it. If I trade for them, I'll make my charges. It depends on what they want me to do. Are you with me? If you are taking me full time, you know how much you are paying. So you'll be so good in this business. You can trade for companies. There are so many forex firms that are launched today. They need people that are good, that can trade this market. Everything is not forex robots. I am not saying robot don't say this. People use robots. But there are some big financial institutes that they also want them, people that are good, they understand this market to trade for them. And guess what? They pay them bastardly. They pay them bastardly. I mean, what I'm saying is what I know. I don't come here and give stories because I don't, I'm teaching people. No, they pay them. So if you think I'm lying, go and make your research. Are you with me? So central banks are the major body. The body that are the subordinates, that assist the central banks are the major banks. Example of major banks are, like I said to you, Echo Bank, Zen Bank, Polaris Bank, so on and so forth. Another body that helps you and I to trade in the financial market are the market makers, the brokers. The brokers will tell you, who is in the house? Mr. They will say, Mr. Adams, we know you have only $500. Bring this money. We shall introduce you to what is called leverage. With that leverage, you'll be able to trade in the financial markets. And you see yourself trading. Are you think? Class, the reason why most people don't like forex trading and why people don't like forex training like this is because they never met with the right people. I must tell you tonight. I remember the first time I started teaching people online. The first set of people I met that time was even enough to stop me from this business. But you know one thing about me? <laughs> what, what, whatever one man would say, another thought would be different. And I don't blame those people. Those people will tell you that we, we just met some scammers online that scammed us of 20,000 and 10,000 naira, and they went through the money. All of you are fake. Check the Facebook adverts if you think I'm lying. On the Facebook adverts, most people will even tell you that all these people, they are criminals. They are all liars, this, that. Sometimes I respond to them. Do you know why I always like responding to them? So that they will know that truly I know what I'm doing. Do you know that sometimes while I respond to them, they'll be convinced. They will even see the reason to come to my class. So say, now, nah, wow, sometimes it is good to even try some people. Not everybody is a scammer. Yes, online, the internet is now porous. You see all sorts of people coming online. You see some, some animals, goats coming online. Too. Not everybody seems to be, to be so deceitful. Are you with me? So you can see, get, understand this business and make good money from it. There was a day I made withdrawals from Forex. That day, that was the last, I think that was the last time I withdrew two weeks ago. I don't know, three weeks ago. That withdrawal, I was still shocked about it. I placed a withdrawal, I think it was two weeks ago. I placed a withdrawal around 12.35. If I'm lying, God is watching me. I always like to follow up my statement to God. For you to know that I'm, I'm saying something serious. And I use hot forex. I will teach you about brokers tomorrow. And immediately I place that withdrawal. Low and build. God is watching my hands. I got that money into my GTB account that same day in less than two hours. 
At first, when I saw credit, I saw the amount into my account. I said, ah, ah, would it be that it's one of my clients that could just transfer money into my account? The next thing I saw was HF market. Ah, wow, that's hot forex market. I was shocked. That has never happened before. So if you trade and you use the right brokers, you will never have a reason to lament. I've heard severally people saying that I traded one time. I use, I'm not going to call names of brokers. That's me. I don't spoil people's business. I traded with social and so broken firm. They took my money to withdraw. Is a problem? Yes, they are like that. That is why you need a mentor to tell you the right set of people to use. Are you with me? So that's that. Tomorrow, I will say, teach you more on brokers. So, like I said, the market makers and the, the brokers, they connect the retail traders and the major banks or the central banks together. Uh, mostly, the world we even trade is the financial markets. Are you with me? Now, my next phase is base currency and code currency. The first and second currency of a currency pair is called the base currency. And the second currency is called the code currency. Currency pairs compare the value of one currency to another. The base currency versus the second, which is the code currency. Class, I will see you this PDF to read. That's why I just had to rush up so that I can quickly give my real explanation. Now, look at it very well. We have the first currency pair. You know, in you know, when you say a pair, a pair of shoes, a pair of shoes is a combination of two left and right. If I say a pair of um, 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 slipper, it means left and right also. Now, currency. Currency is just like a fiat a country spent. What's fiat? Fiat is the notes or the coins you spend in your country. Like, for instance, in Naira, I said in Naira, in Nigeria, we spend Naira. When Kobo, I don't know, I, I'm sure Kobo is still in existence. When Kobo, you take Kobo, those are fiat currencies. I you think in United States, you spend USD, you spend cents. Those are also in fiat. I you think those are fiat currencies. But look at it very closely, class. I have Euro USD. Euro USD, the best currency is Euro, and the USD is the quote currency. I repeat, the best currency is Euro. And the USD is the quote currency. Now let's do a simple analysis, sweet analysis. Let's come to my screen. But before I do that, I want to finish exchange rate before I make the analysis. Exchange rate. Exchange rate is the rate at which one country currency will be exchanged for another. It's also regarded as the value of one country's currency in relation to another. We we'll believe that one country's currency will rise against another currency we buy. And the strong we buy the strong currency and we sell the weak currency. I think. Now look at it. Another reason why exchange rates move so fast, the result to multi-billionaire companies that need to convert large amounts of money into another currency. The short and long of this story is that exchange rates is more or less like I have a currency, Euro GPP. I take Euro, I compare Euro to GPP. It must give me a value. Yes, of course, Mr. Sifon. I will send the recorded version after the class and I'll send you the PDF. That's very, very short. In fact, I'll send recorded version before 10 p.m. tonight and the PDF too. Are you think? So for this exchange rate, let's go to my screen. For exchange rate, let's go to my screen. You're welcome, sir. Let's say I have a currency pair. And the currency pair is GPP USD. Now, on GPP USD, let's say I have something like, let's say the exchange rate. It's just that I don't have time to be checking Google right now. I would have shown you something. It's just that, let's say GPP is 800. USD is 400. I'm assuming class. Of course, you know USD is never 400. 800 divided by 400 is what? Geo mathematics. 800 divided by 400 is. Um, is that two. Welcome, sir. Yes, it's two. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. 800 divided by 400 is two. So that gives you zeros cancel zeros. So that's what 
So, so, so. Now, let's say for instance, Mr. Yehoshua called me and said, ah, Mr. Gospower, ah, there's good news. Too. What's the good news, sir? GPP has increased in the market tremendously. And when I checked, I discovered that GPP is now 900 to Naira. You understand? GPP to Naira is 900. Naira, which is this 900, let me use another marker, please, so that I don't get confused. So that'll be 900 to 400. Please have it in mind. It's just that I don't capitalize on USD tonight. Have it in mind. When GPP is increasing, USD is reducing. When GPP is increasing, USD is reducing. So let's say it increases from here to this point. 900 divided by 400. Geo mathematics very well. That'll give you 2.25. 2.25 hundred. You can see that in that case, there was an increment. So class, what do you do? In this case, you buy in the forex market. Are you think? What do you do in this case? You buy in the forex market. But what if God forbid? There's information coming that well, I don't even know what I'm saying, God forbid. Because whether you buy or you sell in the forex market, you see profit. Let's say you now come here and let's say virtually who is in the house again? Mr. Ah, sorry. Let's say Mr. Frederick. Mr. Gospower. Ah. GPP is going down. No, I quickly check the uh, GPP value to Naira. GPP value to Naira is 600. That's 600 divided by 400. Zeros cancel zeros. Two year two. Two year three. Three divided by two is what? 1.50. Three divided by two is what? 1.500. So class, you know what this actually means? It means that GPP has reduced in the forest mass. So what do you do? You sell. Class, please, I repeat. When you are selling, it means that USD is having a gain. You know, that's why if you're observant, in some platforms which you will download, we will download those platforms on the third day. In some platforms which you will download, you notice that they will indicate with some arrows. You see blue arrow going up. You see red arrow coming down. That means GPP has a greater hand compared to the USD. Vice versa. You see this one selling. And you see the blue arrow going up. So that means GPP has a selling power here. Whether you buy or you sell in the forest market, you profit both ways. <laughs> that is how it is. Whether I buy or you sell, you profit both. So thank you very much. My next phase. My next phase is fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Now, fundamental analysis is a way of looking at the forest market, analyzing economic, social, and political forces that may affect currency prices. Now, class. The idea behind this type is that now, see, I don't want to read all of these things because I'll see for this PDF to you. Now, what fundamental and fundamental analysis are simply people that keep up to world news. This set of people, they will come, they will tell you that, okay, Mr. Gospower, we discovered that GPP is actually selling at this point. We have to sell at this point. So don't worry, I will teach you some things on the four. There's a way you, you use news to trade. There's a way you use news to trade. If you are consistent with this training, I'll teach you on the phone. So what do they do? They will now go there and they will make the analysis. Now they will enter the market. Most times, whenever I news trade, I make serious profits. Especially when the news comes into the market five minutes ago. Oh my God. That's profit galore for me. I'll just see the candle going up seriously. Or the candle is going down seriously in my direction. I am so sometimes, but you know, as I am, because of the way I, I am so busy, I don't always have time to check news. What I do is I always like to work more with indicators. I hear me. I always like to work more with what? With indicators. So that's how I work for that. Now, technical analysis. 
Recognizes the story of price pattern on a particular asset. There are many ways to identify patterns in the market. You have your drawing tools, which are horizontal line, trend lines, Fibonacci level, so on and so forth. How are you doing? All of all these things, MACD, moving average, stochastic RSI, Williams percent ratio, uh, parabolic SAR, uh, bull beer power, uh, bull power, uh, beer power. All of all these things are all technical analysis. We only use charts to make this analysis. What me I use is trading view. Once I go to trading view now, I will show you everything there. How you can buy and sell, I can show you there. Are you with me? So that is that class. Class, I want to say something before I start permitting questions. Like my mentor told me when I started this business thing, he said, there's no business that does not have its challenges. I am saying this because I know so many people that have missed it in the forest market. Number one, the forest market is not a place where you go there and you start looking on it continuously. I'm saying this because so many people, they make this mistake. Number one, or number two rather, don't be so eager to trade in the forest markets. There are sometimes I will see a very good opportunity. Probably I'm working. I will sit down, analyze before I enter the market. Such mistake you make can burn your account. And I have a slogan or a motto. You should never be greedy and you should always be patient. If you follow these two things I just stated now, God is seeing my heart. You win seriously from this business. Thank you very much, class. Is there any question before we go? Is there any question in the class, in the house before we go? If you have a question, just unmute yourself and ask your question. If you are too shy to ask your question, drop your question in the chat box. I will read it. Don't worry, I'll not call your name. Are you okay? You can send a personal message to me now. Are you okay? Hear anybody with a question? Okay, Mr. Yehoshua. Well done, yes, sir. Welcome, sir. I appreciate you, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for the lectures. Oh, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Sir. Yeah, I hope to learn a lot. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I was actually waiting for this time. That was why I was the first in the class. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, um, my question is uh, you talk of MetaTrader 4 in your subsequent class. Yes, sir. I am a beginner. Yes. In forex trading. And uh, I, I, I am currently studying one PDF material I got somewhere. Okay, sir. Now, they always talk about MetaTrader 5. They said MetaTrader 4 is a bit outdated, that it does not have. Yes, I'm with you, sir. Hello, sir. Wow. Something is that. You are this thing. Yes, I'm with you. Uh, go on, sir. Yeah, I think um, the question is, um, Will you advise us to stick to MetaTrader 4 or maybe to advance to MetaTrader 5? If okay. yes, will you also teach us that one? Thank you, sir. Okay, God bless you, sir. You asked a very good question. Sir, if I tell you something you don't believe tonight, as I speak to you, I still trade with MetaTrader 4. But that does not mean that I've not worked with MetaTrader 5 or I don't know how to use MetaTrader 5. Are you with me? No, I want that man to unmute himself so that I will know that he's going with me. Are you with me? So, okay. so sir, the difference between MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 is just like when you have Windows 7 and Windows 10. You know Windows okay. 7? You know Windows 7 doesn't look beautiful. It looks, it looks ugly, but it is natural. Yeah. You understand? Yes. But Windows 10 looks beautiful and has extra features. The yes. only extra feature or the two things MetaTrader 5 has over MetaTrader 4 is that number one, 
Meta Trader 5 has six pending orders. But Meta Trader 4 has four pending orders, which you can still work with. Are you with me, sir? Now, Meta Trader 5, are you with me? Are you, are you there, sir? Meta Trader 5, can people see it as beginners can use Meta Trader 5? Hello, hello. All right. Meta Trader I'm 4, listening. a beginner can also use it conveniently. Are you with me? So there's no defect if you use any of them. There's okay. no other if you use any of them. All right, thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Class, please, is there any other question before we go, please? Please, do you have any other question before we go? Please feel free to ask a question. Don't worry. There's no other. Feel free to ask your questions, please. Is there any other question? If you are social, you can drop your message directly to me. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. If there's no other question, I want to say thank you to everybody that attended this training. You can't imagine how happy I am. You know, one thing for you to teach, another for you to see the people that are coming for the training. Please and please, don't miss tomorrow's class. Tomorrow's class is even more important compared to what we did today. You see what we just did today? I just came here to read PDF out to you. But tomorrow's class, we are doing life practicals. Please don't miss tomorrow's class for anything. Thank you very much, everybody. Same time tomorrow, 8 p.m., we shall meet. God bless all of you. God bless you. I will send your PDF and your video to you latest by 10. I promise you on that. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody.